Hey, this is Trey Chapman for Trey's Chowdown. We're riding the roads looking for the finest cuisine prepared by the finest chefs. So come along with us and let's see what we discover. Giddy up. Hi, this is Trey Chapman for Trey's Chowdown. We're here at the Cystic Fibrosis, well, let me start over. Supporting Cystic Fibrosis Foundation. <laughs> Hi, this is Trey Chapman for Trey's Chowdown. We're here at the new Mopac Center in Fort Worth for the 65 Roses event supporting Cystic Fibrosis. Come along, we'll see what we can find. All right, Michael Thompson. Trey, thanks for being yes, here, Yes, sir, bro. yes, Thank sir. You. Michael, you've been involved with this thing basically since day one. Just about, from Just the about. beginning. That's right. So tell us about this. How, how did how did they the sixty five roses? Did they come to you, or did you just did they did they how, how did it get started? Basically, well, the very first year, a good friend of mine, Clark McDaniel, was the lead chef on this thing. Okay, and he right after the event got a big job in San Antonio, so I got recruited to take over. Okay, and I've been here ever since. Ever since. Well, aside from being asked to become the lead chef for this seventeen years ago. Yes, sir. A lot of people ask, well, do you have somebody with CF? And I just tell them I'm just glad to be a part of it. Because whatever that may be, I just want to keep it that way. But I'm, I'm just proud and honored to be a part of this event. And tonight, more than any other time, to see a lot of these parents and some of the people coming up to me and their, their kids are 30 and 40 and 45 years yeah. old. That you know what? Awesome. It means something yeah. to be a part of yeah. something that Hopefully there will be a cure for in my and lifetime. I did like what, what Roy said tonight about how far it's come and, and what. And yes. Yeah. You know, amazing. when I started, the life expectancy of a CF kid was 17 years old. And now, be, through my involvement with this thing, I'm happy to say that they've gotten it up to 41 years. And see, that's something you see being involved with the being involved with the whole situation. You've seen that, and so yes. you'll never forget that. It's burning right. your brain. Finally, around the time these guys were four, and this guy was uh, was three, uh, we go in for some testing, and the doctor says, "Hey, I've got some news for you. Uh, it's not great news. Uh, your kids have cystic fibrosis." We're like. I don't understand what that is. And so, of course, the first thing we do is go to Wikipedia, which do not do. Don't Google it. It is, uh, you know, at the time, it was just absolutely horrifying. And you look at it, and you, I mean, you just start weeping. And it's like, this is the worst thing you could imagine. How, how could this happen to us? It's the worst thing in the world. And then you, you wind up getting to visit with some of the folks at the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation. You start getting great answers and you start getting hope and you start learning about all these wonderful things you start visiting with the doctors that cook all right so chef yes, capital sir. grill y'all do a lot of stuff in fort worth we this, do. Is just, this is just one of the events y'all do and y'all really give back to fort worth we certainly do this is one of our, our favorite events that we do every year and, and one of the reasons why of course we're helping out people and we're giving back to the community but it's very chef driven through chef michael which we love to be a part of hey glenn Good to see, good see you. Good to see you. Yeah. You're the owner of Thompson's downtown yeah. Fort Worth. Yes, sir. Tell us how the idea for Thompson's came about. Uh, the idea from Thompson's came about uh, from travels with me and my partner were doing. Um, we had, you know, we'd go on vacations every once in a while and go check some things out. And um, we were watching the cocktail craze from the East Coast and from the West right. Coast kind of make its way into the Texas area. Uh, so when we took it over, we decided we wanted to uh, use some, uh, Fort Worth history. So we did the whole first floor as Thompson's bookstore. Uh, we did a secret pharmacy in the basement, and then the upstairs, which was always a hotel slash brothel. Right. We still have the brothel rooms laid out, My kind and of that place, is, My kind of place. you know, you go upstairs, do whatever you do, and then come downstairs to get fixed. Yeah, that's, right. that's right. That's right. That's why they had the pharmacy there. <laughs> well, Glenn, so, it's nice talking to us. Yeah, really absolutely. It, Anytime. And I love Thompson's. Thank you I very much. I appreciate that. Thanks Good. so much. Good deal. Okay, so Bob Steak and Chop House, yes, Fort sir. Worth, Chef. Christian Marentis. Christian Marentis. Okay, how long have y'all been involved in this? Uh, this is going to be our seventh year doing it uh, since the Omni Hotel opened up with Bob's. Uh, uh, the first year after being open, we got involved with the uh, 65 Roses event, and we love it. We love it. Yeah, I, 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 saw, I've seen, I know I've seen y'all here three or four years, so seven yes. years, that's a, that's a long time. That's yes, good. Sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. Keep coming back, supporting Fort Worth. Love to, love to. I 
I mean, we came on with a foundation right at the right time where everything is, is ramping this the right way. We start learning about how efficient the foundation is. We start learning about all these incredible treatments that are coming up. Hey, Keith Button Hicks of Button's Restaurant, Keith. You have been coming to Cystic Five Roses, 65 Roses for how long now? I want to say it's been uh, since 04. Yeah, it's been a long time. It's I've seen 04. you here forever. And you obviously enjoy doing it and giving back to the community. Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, you know, this is um, one of the many events that we do. This is probably one of the coolest, though, for sure. Yeah. And any any time to get to work next to my man, MT, Michael Thompson. That's right. Who is the godfather here yeah. in Fort Worth. As he is. He, he is the man. I tell him all the time, you know, you kind of started this deal. He did. He's been here. He has he lasted the test of time. Yes, he has. And a lot of the cats, um, you know, that are here, that are up That's and right. banging, doing their thing, you know, all used to work for him, too. That's so. right. But I'll tell you what, I'm very proud to be a big part of it because we brought together the city's best chefs and we have created an event here that all of the other events try to be like. Emulate, yeah, you know what, you know what's funny is that that's the same thing Keith said a while ago. And Keith said this is best, this is one of his favorite yeah. best events every year, yeah. Well, we couldn't do it without all these great guys yeah. that have supported me as the lead chef, but also supporting the great charity that it is. All right, John Bonnell, 65 Roses. I know you do a lot of charity work around Fort Worth. You do I mean, you do more than Fort Worth, but you do charity work. You really believe in that cause. How long have you been with 65 Roses? We've been doing this event for 15 years, ever since we've been open. Okay. And uh, you know, it's it's an incredible event. The chefs love coming. We love to see each other, but you're never going to find a better cause than Cystic Fibrosis. This is really what it's all about. Every year, we always get the report. The cure is within our lifetime. We're going to see this. This is going to be the most rewarding day ever. I cannot wait until we have the 65 Roses event where we announce this is sure. it. We got it. We're done. I, it's amazing? gonna happen and we and we believe in it. So we're here every time. So so glad to have you here Michael. So glad you're such a part of this. But you do so much stuff in Fort Worth and not only Fort Worth but Dallas. I mean you're the whole Metroplex. You always give back and you you have for years and years and years. I don't care what it is. And we're always happy to have you brother. Well thank you. Thank very you very much. much. Very proud of you. Thank you so much man. Trace Chow. Hound. 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 It's always good, man. It's always good.